you have a superpower? You're both fucking with me, right? Do Ryan and I look like the fucking with you type? It's all true. Fine. Then tell me what I'm feeling right now. You're feeling disbelief. <laughs> You're actually a little annoyed. You feel hurt that we didn't tell you until now, whether it's true or not. You don't like being left out. Well, okay. Oh shit, the foosball game. You knew exactly what to do. You needed to focus on the positive memories, not get lost in the sadness. I thought it would help. It did. Just warn me next time, okay? Deal. Never thought I'd have a freaky empath friend. Pretty wild. So, any sign of Diane today? No, but she was in yesterday working on her laptop. You said she was afraid of something around Gabe's death. If she's covering up what Typhon did, I bet there's proof. I hope so. If she comes in today, let's be ready with a plan. In the meantime, I've got to finish my shift. We're on it. Time to earn a paycheck. I should clean the dirty dishes around the bar. How do these bird washing contests even work? Who's checking the sightings? Rad jacket. I'm guessing boss man must be Jed. The hell am I gonna do with a jacket that says hell divers on the back? <laughs> Jeez, I don't know boss man. Maybe you could wear it, like the rest of us are gonna do. You think I wanna broadcast my affiliation with you jokers to the rest of the world? I got a reputation. Respect to anyone that chooses to locomote for sport. I can't go on a run. Everyone will see how awkward and out of shape I am. Forget it. Been there before. Maybe I can encourage her. Hey, can I ask you something? I've always felt too self-conscious to try running. You seem like a pro. Any tips? Well, definitely don't let that stop you. Just push through it, you know? I'll try that. Thanks. Trust me, you're not alone. Where are you, girl from Rome? Gosh, I really miss that song. They used to play it in here all the time. Weird. I've never heard it. Maybe Jed knows where it went? Hey, do you guys know a song that goes, where are you, girl from Rome? Holy shit. Blast from the past. Alabaster Daydreams. My dad used to love that song. Gabe would put it on repeat just to mess with him. Got to the point where he couldn't stand to even hear it anymore. So, what happened to it? Eventually, Judd pulled it out of the jukebox and stashed it somewhere. You could ask him. Sweet. Thanks. In your face, Ryan Lucan. 
I'm birder of the year, and your reign is finished. Uh-oh. Better not tell Ryan I had a hand in that. Hey, boss. Do the words alabaster daydreams mean anything to you? Oh, hell. Like brother, like sister, huh? Fine. Guess it's been long enough. It's back behind the bar someplace. Thanks. All right. Let's hear this infamous song. Tonight's the spring festival. I wonder what's wrong. Hey, Ducky. Is everything okay? Of course. I've never felt better. Okay. Glad to hear it. So, I started dusting... check in with Steph and Ryan. Okay, she's here. What's the plan? Well, we have two plans, actually. But... We're still workshopping them. Good to have options, right? So what are they? Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I asked Diane out on a date. Wait, what? And she's so into it. She doesn't notice one Ryan Lucan swiping her laptop. Ryan carries said laptop upstairs, acquiring damning evidence. Maybe Diane and I still hook up? Not important. <laughs> That's your plan? Oh my god, please tell me you have something better. I do. Now to be clear, it's the same plan. Except, I'm the distraction. Look, Steph, I don't even think she's gay, all right? She's probably into the rugged mountain man type. All the transplants are. <laughs> okay, maybe these plans do need some more time. What? It's a simple plan, literally two steps. You just need to choose the hotter distraction. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing that only tiebreaker we have. <sighs> Let's go with Steph. Badass DJ? It's a no-brainer. Sorry, Ryan. Fuck yes. In your face. Yeah, that's fair. 
look, I appreciate the the effort, but we don't even know if she has anything worth stealing yet. I'm just going to try talking to her. Maybe I can get her worked up and read her emotions. I'll let you know if I need that distraction. Good luck. Your usual. Thanks, Alex. What's the best way to rile her up? You know all I want is justice for my brother. Please. Help me. Alex, I can assure you that Typhon is committed to a full and open investigation. We want to find those responsible and hold them accountable just as much as you do. That's the truth. She's got a great poker face, unlike Mac, but let's see what she's really feeling. Let me try and read her first. Poor Gabe. No one deserves to die like that. She said. If I keep her thinking about Gabe's death, maybe I can find out more. Oh, such a cute photo. My niece and nephew. They're adorable. William Bloom. Gabe loved him. I think he spent a whole year just listening to him. <laughs> really? He had good taste. Surprised we never talked about it. I bet you and Gabe threw back a lot of these together. He was a great bartender. Made the long work days more bearable. Are you joining in the LARP later? It's been so hard for Ethan. We're all hoping it will cheer him up. I can't. Good luck, though. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Okay. Now I need to pick something that will push Diane's emotions over the edge. Look, I know you're not a bad person. But my brother is dead because of the choices you and Typhon made. How does that make you feel? I actually want to know. Alex, I... We... Typhon is doing everything we can to address the situation. That's the truth. Okay? I was looking for. Time to explore Diane's guilt about Gabe. out what Diane is really hiding. He came here looking for a better life, just like me. He's gone. I'm still here. Hello? Miss Jacobs? It's Deputy Pike. Pike, I'm sorry, but we're very busy at the moment. There's been an accident. What kind of accident? Wait. There's something else. I can't undo what Typhon did, or the role I played, but at least I have everything I need to protect myself from them. Holy shit. 
She must have evidence on the USB stick. Oh, looks like I'll need a distraction after all. Hey, Diane. Oh, hey, Steph. How are you? So, what's your deal? I'm sorry? Are you single, semi-single, taken, but still down to get drunk and make out? Whoa, <laughs> was not expecting that at all. Um. blushing I feel like I'm blushing <laughs> yeah I could see your cheeks from space <laughs> super real good look for me I'm so flattered I don't even know what to say hey no, no sweat just think about it get back to me I'm not going anywhere See ya. chance that you awoke something in Diane <laughs> wouldn't be the first time <laughs> you guys oh, that was hilarious oh my god I hope this was worth it password protected guess I'm not surprised I'll bring this to Riley, see if she's willing to help. She's a whiz at computer stuff. In the meantime, we have a LARP to do. You're still down to help, right? For sure. What's a LARP again? Very funny. Your character sheet's on the desk. You should read it. Grab your hat and meet me at the park. And don't forget your guitar, okay? One question. When the LARP's over, can I keep the hat? I'd say that all depends on how you do. Damn, gauntlet thrown. <laughs> so, did you finish the thing? Yeah, barely. It took me all night. I haven't carved like that in ages. All right, I need to grab my guitar and the hat that Steph got me. Okay, let me grab my hat. 
I feel like I kept the hat in here. Only one way to find out. Huh. There it is. Oh, shit. The feather on the hat must have fallen off. Maybe I can find it. Gabe's last effects from the coroner. Pike dropped it off a few days ago. Guess I've been avoiding looking through it. Okay. You can take the kid out of juvie. Oh. One match left. I don't know why, but this must have been really special to Gabe. Never know when you'll need a light. I'm not giving up yet, Gabe. I better find that feather. Steph is a stickler for details. This feather separates the buskers from the bards. Alex the bard, ready to serve. Time to head out. <laughs> Hey. I don't need, like, cheering up or whatever. Okay. So, maybe this wasn't the most subtle idea, but... I'd be pretty bummed if I didn't get to play my first LARP with you. I do want to do this. It's just... <sighs> Everyone's been working so hard. And if I'm not happy, they'll all be disappointed. Must be weird. Having a bunch of adults pressuring you to dress up in a costume and act like you're having fun. Yeah. Especially my mom. She always looks so... <sighs> sad. Because I'm, like, bummed out. But... I can't just pretend. Pretending was the whole idea of this thing. Acting like you're someone else, just for a little bit? I guess. The crazy thing is, sometimes, pretending you're having fun can trick you into actually having fun. Couldn't hurt to try. All right. But I don't want to do it alone. You have to help me. Of course.
Thanor, the Monster Slayer. Thanks to the gods and all the heavens you've come. I am in desperate need of a great hero. Could you be the one? Please, tell me of your exploits. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Maybe my bard can sing something about me. Oh. Sure. A kraken ate a city every year until it died on Thanor's spear. My goodness. You must be Thanor's bard, Alexandra, whose songs have magical powers. It sounds like you are exactly the heroes I need. My name is King Tabor. The age of monsters has come upon my kingdom. Horrible creatures stalk the streets. My people live in constant fear. But there's hope. An ancient prophecy describes three mysterious gems known as soul jewels that can save us all. I need you to go search the kingdom. Survive whatever's out there and bring me back those jewels. Do you understand? Yeah. Yes. Good. Then you must go now. My people are counting on you. Should we start with the main road? Okay. Time to find some jewels. This is kind of exciting. How do we know where to look? I think we don't know. It's a true adventure. Oh. What do you think the jewels are for? Maybe some kind of magic ritual that protects the whole kingdom. Does King Tabor know magic? I guess we'll find out. What did you just find? A gold coin. Do you think there's more of them? I don't know. Let's keep looking. <laughs> okay. It's a wolf. A dire wolf. Shit, what do we do? I think we have to fight it. Stirring him, double Thanor's next attack. Ah! 
two damage. Untuned cord, <clears throat> one damage. <clears throat> Two damage, <clears throat> and you're on fire for the next two turns. <clears throat> Protected by Shield of Courage. Ah, uh, I'm still on fire. Huh. <clears throat> two damage. <clears throat> One damage to allies? Better be nice to Thanor. Let's keep going. What do you think this key is for? Maybe it unlocks something in one of these stores. I should probably drop in on Riley and thank her in person. I swung over the top ones. No way. Prove it. I'll give you a dollar if you can. I did! I don't have to prove it. I'm gonna tell my mom you called me a liar. <laughs> Do it, dude. I dare you. I supposed to be the one teaching did we really just kill a dire wolf what did you think of that fight go easy on me it wasn't too bad you kicked ass the monsters don't stand a chance <laughs> thanks looks like the black lantern is part of the larp I just haven't slept. You know, every time I close my eyes, my brain pulls up all these thoughts, these regrets. So I just lie there, crying and feeling like a horrible person. You mentioned regrets. Can you drill down on that? What is it that you regret? I don't know. I'm not sure of anything right now. Oh, what's that about? Wanna look in here? Yeah. Let's go in. What happened here? Fellow survivors, I see. Are you the bartender here? Nope. Monster ate all of the staff. We'll have to serve ourselves. Do you know what this key is for? Belong to Barry, the tavern keeper. That's his leg over there. Oh. So, if you want to try all of the locks, I'm sure he won't stop you. Let's see what we can find around here. I actually feel bad for that person. 
Ugh. Rough day for Barry the Tavern Keeper. House Bard? Sorry, Steph. Alexandra is pretty happy with her current gig. This kingdom has serious problems. The 13th quinquennial meeting of the Daegu Biscuit Boys is hereby called to order. I'm sorry to announce that all six of us remain upright and above ground. First point of order. Ducky, if you had to guess though, about how much longer are you fixing to live? Just long enough to collect, Gordon, and not a minute longer. I'll crawl graveward with your shares clutched in my stiffening fingers. You mark my words. The amount of detail in this LARP is insane. Guess Lawrence is gonna need a new business advisor. Steph thought of everything. She's amazing at this. You think we could make the most of this? If we got here earlier? I doubt it. We were probably talking to King Tabor when it happened. What happened to the rest of the music? Thanor, did you see this? That's got to be it. One down, two to go. That wasn't so bad, right? Now I feel more confident we can find the others. Glad you finally believe in us. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm a genius for convincing Steph that my character should be alone behind the bar. All the drinks I want. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. Yes? I see you've poured yourself some ale. You just survived a monster attack. I think you deserve a couple drinks on the house. Truly wise beyond your years. Want to tell them about our quest? We're on a quest to end the Age of Monsters. So you won't have to live in fear anymore. Are you now? Let me give you something that you may find useful. Thanks. I'm going to go ahead and guess we'll be meeting a snake.
How did you survive the attack? Well, I'm not proud of it, but I tripped an elderly woman. She had it coming. Stingy dish wench. We're gonna keep looking around. Good luck. We're gonna have to deal with this, aren't we? Did you see this warning? Yeah, that's a bad situation. Trolls are ruthless. Bye. Godspeed. Godspeed. Check out what I found in that chest. Nice work, Thanor. There was some really interesting stuff in there. Now you look pale. I told you so. I can't remember the last time I had this much fun. That makes two of us. Hey, let's hear your riddle. There are three, it is said, heroes long dead, fashioned into soul jewels, blue, violet, red. What are their names? Do not be misled. Oh, we read about that in the tavern, right? Tell him. Their names are... The answer is Nira, Dasis, and Belen. You solved the riddle you've been told. Your prize? A useful hint. Behold. To bribe that deadly troll of old, you have to pay four coins of gold. Four coins. Got it. Ah, there's more. Because you solved my verse, you may take one gold from my purse. Thanks. I wish we could go back to the tavern when it's full of people. It was full of people. Alive people. Obviously. There's something fun in the record store. Could there be something down the alley? This is boring. Shh, they're here. Woe is me. Woe is me. Behold, my love has been slain by yonder river monster. Where? Just down the... Yonder alley, near the river. Alas, alas. Wow, that actually felt really sad. Yeah. Beware of river monster. <sighs> Definitely miss you, if you were eaten. Come on. Monster abundances are when you need apothecaries the most. Ah. Disappointed? I thought I would finally get to go in.
Another magic scroll. Nice. I wonder how Riley's doing with the USB. That run felt amazing. I'm so proud of myself. Wow. Good for her. Mind if I duck in here a second? I have to, um, renew my bar guild membership. Yeah. Okay. Hey there. <laughs> I could ask Riley how progress is going with the USB. Any luck with the USB? No, not yet. It's gonna take hours, if we're lucky. Oh. If you want to check it out, it's running on the office computer, but don't touch anything. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for doing this. You don't have to thank me. It's the least I could do for Gabe. And actually, it's kind of fun. I didn't realize you were so good with computers. Is that what you're going to school for? Civil engineering. Or maybe robotics? It's a lot to figure out kind of crazy. Anyway, let's talk about something else. I saw Eleanor at the Black Lantern this morning. She probably needed a break from me. I've been nagging her all morning about getting one of those, like, medical alert buttons. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna be four hours away, and she's never lived alone before. How's Mac doing? I haven't seen him in a while. Oh, he's around. <sighs> We're going through another rough spot. I'm leaving soon and he's not taking it too well. Sorry. Let's talk later. I'll let you know if I make any progress. Thanks again. I will definitely not touch this. I wonder what we'll find at the Bridge of Flowers. I bet there's something fun in the record store. Oh, there. 
You look like adventuring folk. Perhaps the magpie can set you straight. Step inside if you're actually... Please knock twice. Go for it. Monster or mortal? Mortal! Come in.